So we're going to be travelling from the Gold Coast, which is there, and we're going to be going down to Sydney, which is 840 kilometres. Um, we're going to be stopping off at... Um... So what I want to find out is what is the range? Is the use of the battery linear? In other words, if you use half, um, it's only gone half the distance, or, or is it has it got more of a curve um, a graph? Um, but more importantly, there's two strategies. One strategy is where you have minimum stops, and another strategy is where you stop frequently but only fill up a little bit. So I really want to see what the difference is there. So, um, yeah, I'll try not to bore you too much. So we're going to be using strategy one, which is um, minimum stops going to Sydney, and strategy two, um, uh, multiple stops uh, filling up a little way, um, coming back from... Sydney. When I tell someone that I've purchased an electric car, first thing they ask is, well, if you're going to Sydney, how many stops do you have to take? And I say two, um, because I suppose I'm preconditioned to feel that I have to stop as few stops as possible. So that's our strategy number one. Okay, my first choice is Tyndale at 210, North Brumby Valley at 311, and Macville at 360. So I think I'll make the decision uh, in route, or on, en route, and um, to say where I'm going to stop. But they're the choices I've got. And if we look at the second choice, depending on, on where I am, depending on which um, is my first stop, I can then pick my second stop. So the second one is Port Macquarie at 480, Tari at 330, uh, so, um, 5.30 and Macville um, at uh, Heather, Heather Bray at 6.90 Look, as far as um, subscribing goes, um, I totally understand that that um, you have a lot of people wanting to subscribe and whatever and um, so I appreciate that If you are a subscriber, thank you If not, and if you own an, eight, uh, an 803 um or thinking about it, the main reason I'd like you to subscribe is so that this channel has some weight with BYD. I would like to ask some questions and get replies to get pre-release information so I can share with you. I would like to have a discussion with um, BYD Brass. At the moment, I you know I can't get past the salesman, but you know if I was to say I had a thousand whatever subscribers, I think I've got you know um, getting on to eight hundred now. But if I said I've got over a th a thousand subscribers, um, you know, I might have a bit more weight, so that's the reason. So it's quarter past six in the morning and we're heading off to Sydney. Um, I'm quite hopeful that we're going to get to um, uh, uh, Maxville, which is um, 360 kilometres away. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm hoping to be able to do. That would be a pretty good run, um, 360. Um, failing that, there's uh, North Brumbury, which is um, 311 kilometres. We should easily get to that. And it, in a real disaster, I suppose we're looking at um, um, Tydale, Linda, um, yeah, Tyndale, which is 210. Um, I don't think that's going to be the, the case. I'm, I'm pretty confident we're going to be getting at least 350. Um, maybe more. Um, so we'll see. So basically every couple of minutes we'll be, uh, we'll be going through 50 kilometres. So if you, if you don't want to watch the scenery, just kind of fast forward a bit every, every two minutes. Um, the information is on the screen for about 20 to 30 seconds. So you should be able to find it easy enough. Um, it's early in the morning, very early in the morning. Um, we left at 6.17. Um, and um, mainly to miss the traffic, as, you, uh, as there's a lot of roadworks on the, um, on the, uh, the highway. Uh, I can see that we're coming up to our first 50k in a few minutes. Um, Sorry, in, a few, in about a minute. Um, 
It is looking really good. Um, I won't um, preempt it, but uh, I think we'll all be surprised. Um, so. Like watching a kettle boil. <laughs> oh well. So look at this. We've used um, just a, almost twelve percent. That's giving us a range of um, four hundred and twenty. So if that keeps up, we're going to we're going to be able to get to um, uh, Macville, which is. Um, so it's 360 kilometres, and if we're doing 420, we're going to romp that in. So um, Sydney in two stops, wacko. Been playing with the uh, cruise control and the um, uh, lane uh, keeping facility uh, on the highway. It is really good. Um, there's no doubt about it. I've been mainly using it in the city um, traffic and it's it's difficult to remember what to do. Um, I'm doing a video um, at the moment which is going to make it easier for you to do city traffic, I hope. Um, but certainly, um, but certainly um, it's, it's really good. It, um, uh, it's much better than I thought it was. You can... Um, you can take your hands off for a little while, and it does. It does steer it if you're worrying about the steering. Um, not that I want to do that, but just just um, uh, keeping up. Uh, and uh, yeah, so the last fifty we used you know, quite a bit of battery. I didn't do anything different. Um, exactly the same, um, but it's 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 used quite a bit of 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 of, um, of the battery, and that's now. Estimating that the range would be 345 kilometres, which is a big drop and a, a big dis a big disappointment. So we'll see what happens in the next 50. So that rules um, Macville out, unfortunately. Um, so North um, Brumbury um, is uh, 311. Looks like what we're going to be doing. Okay, that is very disappointing. Um, anyway, it is what it is. Okay, now we've travelled 150 kilometres, and uh, we've um, there's 54 percent of the battery remaining. Um, so that's estimating the uh, range to be 320. So it's going down. Um, so that's a worry. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. It's it's a big jump. I mean, it was at 420 when we did the first 50. Now it's 320. Um, I have been told by some people that you know three twenty is what the range is in long distance. Um, so um, yeah, we'll keep watching this. I've decided to um, stop at uh, Tyndale. Um, it's at two ten. Um, I'm just not confident um, with this gauge as to um, what's going on. It's just all over the place. There really isn't very much traffic on the road. I was, I'm quite impressed, actually, that at this time of day, it's about 8.30 um, on a Monday, and um, there really isn't you know, much traffic. There's three or four trucks every now and again. I'm looking in the rear vision mirror, and there's nothing behind me. Um, so, uh, yep. so we're coming up to our 200-kilometre um, mark. Um, in about a minute, um, so it'll be interesting to see what, what we get for that. Um, I actually know, but I've got to keep the suspense going, I suppose. Uh, here we go. Okay, we use 36%, and that brings it down to 312. So it's still coming down a bit, but... Um, 312 isn't really good. Um, <clears throat> anyway, 
it is what it is. Um, so uh, I, I'm not doing anything kind of strange. I'm, I'm probably sitting on 110 most of the way according to um, the speedo. Uh, and uh, according to the GPS, the speedo is fast. So I'm probably really only doing about 107. Um, occasionally slowing down for any traffic that's in the way. Um, so Tendale's um, uh, just up the road. It's another uh, 12 kilometres, 10, 12 kilometres. So we'll, we will stop in there because that um, North Brumbury, Brumbury, or how we pronounce it, was um, 311 kilometres away. So that's really borderline because the you know the last reading was 310. So um, I, I'm not going to go go to North Brumbury. So um, uh, ten dollars is. Now hopefully I can uh, find it okay. <clears throat> this looks like it on the left and I'm coming in. Now where is it? Okay, it's up here. Oh, got it all to myself. Just get close to it. Okay, so that was 215 kilometres. Um, the battery is now reading 31%. So the estimated range would be uh, 311 kilometres uh, to zero. Um, so I'm going to need about 42 um, kilowatts to fill it. Um, but I got charged for 45.5. Um, obviously, it takes some power to, to put power into the... Um, into the battery. Okay, so that took just on 60 minutes um, to um, to fill it up, and um, now we're about to head off for the next leg of the um, the trip, and that's to uh, Port Macquarie. So um, we'll see how it goes in. So Port Macquarie from here is uh, 257 kilometres. Um, I'm speeding the uh, video up um, in a lot of places, <clears throat> so if the car looks like it's going very fast, it's just that I've speeded it up. Um, I want to get as much scenery as possible, but not not have too much of a delay between the 50 kilometres. Um, so you watch this. Now yeah, we take off. So <clears throat> it's um, sped up <laughs> quite a bit. So we're on our way to Coffs Harbour, it's about 100 kilometres from here, and uh, what's the sign say? Okay, 98 kilometres from here, so um, we should hit Coffs Harbour in about an hour, uh, maybe a bit less. So this is a graft exit. <clears throat> Okay, Coffs Harbour is now 70, so we've, you know, we've gone um, quite a distance, 30 kilometres. <clears throat> okay, so what's this? Coffs Harbour is now 39, so we should be coming up to our 50 kilometres shortly. Uh, here we are. Oh, exactly the same as last time, 88% uh, after 50 kilometres and telling us we'd have 409 to go. Um, it's a shame. So, it's, it, so it's, it looks like it's fairly consistent. That the um, So it looks like you can't um, judge how far you've got to go um, as far as range goes um, by how much you've used to date. Um, is Mooney Beach. And now we're coming into Coffs Harbour. Um, this is the only town which, uh, to, between Gold Coast and Newcastle, where you actually go through a town. Every other, well, it's just a direct highway all the way through. Um, but we have to go through Coffs Harbour. They're building a bypass 
through Coffs Harbour. And um, <clears throat> that should be good because it did slow us down quite a bit coming through here. Because um, we had to sit on 60 and sometimes 40, but mainly 60. And there are <clears throat> police everywhere. So, um, so obviously I've sped this up so um, we look like we're screaming along, but we're actually doing probably 60 here. Just outside of Coss Harbour, so when we get out to the other side, we hit our next 50, 50 mark. Um, I've left this video running through Coss Harbour for those that have never been to Coss Harbour and would like to see what it's like. It's uh, just a big country town. We'll be out of here soon. It's a shame I can't play music. I'd love to play some background music, but um, but that can't be done with um, YouTube unless you use their standard stuff, which sounds horrible. Can't even have the radio running. I tried that, but they said it was a copyright issue. <clears throat> okay, so we've left Coffs Harbour behind and we're heading up. Uh, we should be hitting our next 50k mark any second now here we go so we're at 100k and 72% uh, and seven uh, 351 kilometers almost identical it was identical to the last time um, okay um, there was a lot of uh, roadworks along the way um, I didn't I didn't put all those in the video because it's pretty slow as you see um, but uh, yes there was um, a lot of roadworks so this trip has been um, disappointing for two reasons firstly you know highway uh, travel is about 3 311 is pretty clear about that but also there's in you know the usage of the battery and how it reports it um, is inconsistent like first 50 it says it doesn't use much hasn't used much only used you know 12 percent the next 50 it says it's used you know 20 percent so there you go we're coming up to um Nambaka heads turn off a very popular tourist um location and heads uh, would have liked to have stopped there actually, but we're in a hurry. So here's the actual name of Buckerhead's turn off. If you want to stay the night somewhere near Coffs Harbour, I suggest name Buckerhead's. Okay, so we're coming up to our next 50 um, stop in a minute. Uh, or two up to Maxville um, which would be on the left so that was our um, our possible uh, stopping point at uh, for the first stop but <laughs> that's not to be um, so we've used 56 percent which uh, means that we have 335 um, and um, And Port Macquarie is now 95 away, so so we've got 95 kilometres um, to Port Macquarie. I um, we stopped here for, for a pit stop. So th they've got these places all the way along where you can drop in and have a pit stop. So we're coming up to our next 50 kilometre, which, if I remember, serves me correct, would be 200. So we're coming up to our second 200 now. Um, and it was, um, we had 36% last time left. So we'll see what we have this time. Port Macquarie, 59. Yeah, that's right. 
Okay, so the battery now is 39% left before it was um, 30, 36%. Before it said it had a range of 307 and now we've got a range of 322. So it's um, not consistent. Maybe um, it was a cold. I don't know, but anyway. Um, yeah, it's not consistent. But it's certainly telling us it's, it's a lot less than 480. Okay, so now we're heading for the next 50, which would be just outside of um, Port Macquarie. Um, we're filling up at Port Macquarie, and that's going to be at um, about uh, 20 kilometres outside of um, outside of the 50. So Port Macquarie is about um, 270 for the whole trip. Um, so I'll be looking when we when we're um, got uh, two hundred and fifty to go, and that's um, coming up pretty short shortly. Okay, so we're coming up to our um, two hundred and fifty kilometer range. We didn't get that far last time, so. Um, that's coming up very soon. Okay, so at 250 kilometres we have 23% left and that's giving us a forecast range of 319 or 320. Um, so it's, it's pretty good. Okay, now we're pulling into um, Port Macquarie's charging station. This is a charge fox. Um, so hopefully we can find it. So it's around this roundabout and then you go into the um, BP service station. I've still got it speeded up by the way. Can't waste your time. So there's a Tesla guy there. In fact, we saw Teslas everywhere. Um, so I put in here and, and I messed around with the um, charge thing and, and it couldn't get it to go. And then uh, after about five minutes, the guy next to me came over and said, oh, that's not working. It would be nice if he told me when I first poured in, but anyway. So I had to wait for him to go, and when he went, we pulled in. So from Port Macquarie, we went to um, Heather Bray, which is outside of Newcastle, and we stayed the night. Um, I won't bore you with the actual um, trip, because it's almost identical to what we've already just done. Um, after 50k, it was 88%, same as last time. Um, at 100, it was 71, which was pretty close the last time. Then at 150, it was down to 54. Um, and at 200, it was at 37.5. Um, um, so the range is 314, 310. Um, I didn't run it out, but I mean, that's calculated down to um, based on uh, 250 kilometers. Um, it, so it was, it was very stressful, to be honest. Um, I was worried um, that I wouldn't have any reserve to get to the next station if um, a particular station had no fuel, had no electricity or wasn't working. So um, anyway, yeah, so that was stressful. After checking in at the um, hotel, I went out and to the um, BP Pulse serv um, uh, charging station at the BP service station at um, uh, Heather Bray. Um, it was very good. Um, it was um, easy to use, just like all the others. I didn't know about um, BP uh, Pulse, but yeah, it was good. So I <coughs> filled up here and, and then we went to um, Sydney the next morning, which was uneventful and I won't bore with that either. Um, 
So what did I learn and what words of wisdom can I impart? Um, well, I learnt that um, I really shouldn't budget on any more than 300 kilometres on a trip. Um, and hopefully there's you know, spare capacity somewhere around that because um, there's really not a lot of stations. I, I thought there was a lot more stations, but there, there isn't. Um, on a long distance, sorry, on a, on a highway trip, with roof racks and fully fully um, loaded, you're only going to get um, 300. Okay, our first strategy, minimum stops. As I probably mentioned already, it was very stressful. So um, we found that the range of a fully loaded car running at um, 110 with roof racks, I had nothing on the roof racks, but with roof racks, um, was about 310, 320, somewhere around there. Um, so uh, these are the minimum stops. We, did, we stopped three times. So the first one was at Tyndale, uh, a distance of um, 210. We arrived with 35%. We were there for 20, uh, 55, 52 minutes. We put in uh, 45 kilowatts. We departed with 100%. Um, we arrived at Port Macquarie. Um, which was a further distance of um, 270, arrived at 15%, was there for 64 minutes. We're actually there a bit longer because it had a faulty a faulty um, pump, so we had to wait for somebody else. But this 64 minutes was from when I got onto the new pump. Uh, put in 56 kilowatts and uh, departed with 100%. Um, further 210 to Heatherbray um, and uh, arrived there with 35%. Um, took 55 minutes to fill up, uh, it took 46 and I left with 100%. So um, stop time and filling up time, um, once I got the pump, um, was 171 minutes, which is just shy of three hours. So um, yeah, that's three hours, it's a long time. And uh, so there's two things, it was very, it was, um, very stressful, but secondly, um, waiting, you know, an hour or 55 minutes, even 52 minutes, is a long wait. Um, so after about 20 or 30 minutes, it, it, you know, it's like watching a, ket, uh, a kettle boil. But um, anyway, that's that's what we thought. So how did uh, strategy two work out? It worked out really quite good. So. Um, I stopped at, um, well, we stopped at uh, Heather Bray, uh, which was a distance of 151 kilometres. Um, we arrived at 53%. I spent 17 minutes there, put in 18 kilowatts, and I departed with 84. My standby, if uh, Heather Bray wasn't um, available, was um, uh, an extra 30k um, to um, Kara. That's how you pronounce it. Sorry for those if I could pronounce that wrong. So if that wasn't, so if, if Heatherbray wasn't available, um, there'd be no harm done. An extra 30k, I've got more. So there was no stress. Um, from Heatherbray to Tari was about 150k, and I arrived there with 34%. And again, um, if it was unavailable, I could go to Thumbside, which was another 65 kilometres, which was easy enough. Um, but uh, Tari was fine. Um, I arrived at 34%. Um, it took um, 25 minutes um, because I put a bit more in. Um, so I put in um, 35 um, uh, kilowatts. So that brought it up to 85. Um, the next stop was another 150, um, which was uh, Maxville. Um, I arrived there with um, 33%. And um, and if it wasn't working, there was North Brumbury, which was a further 62. So there was plenty of um, uh, reserve. So it took 20 minutes to fill up, and it was um, and it was 35 um, kilowatts. I'm I'm not sure why that um, was a lot quicker, but anyway, it was. Um, so I departed with 60, uh, sorry, 86 percent. Um, then we arrived at uh, Tyndale after 158 um, uh, uh, kilometres. Um, so um, we arrived with uh, 35%. 
and uh, took 20 minutes and 34 and um, departed with 85. Um, Ballina was 100 and another 100 kilometres, so I arrived there with 55. Uh, I spent um, 30 minutes there and only got 24. The, the problem I had was that there was a, another car there and, and had some sort of sharing thing, so I, I really didn't get much um, uh, much uh, speed or what do you want to call it. Um, uh, yeah. Anyway, so um, so that was thirty. So I stopped for a, a total of one hundred and twelve minutes, just under two hours. Um, really relaxed, no stress because I knew I had uh, reserves, um, and um, you know had coffee and or, or a uh, coke or a sandwich, and you know filled in the time. It didn't seem like a long time, and. Uh, I'm not telling you guys how to do things, but you know this is what I'm going to do from now on. I'm just going to go about 150k, uh, top up to 85, and then um, keep going. Um, uh, as I said before, a lot of you guys probably already know this. Uh, this is really for us newbies when it comes to um, long distance um, highway travel. Um, so um, yeah, strategy two for me from now on.